Am I talking with Mr. Sudhir? Yeah, uh, yes, who is this? Hi, I am Jessica, calling from MGM Company. Hi, Jessica. Uh, yeah, tell me. We got your profile for a developer position. Oh, okay, okay. Is it my time to take technical interview, Mr. Sudhir? Yeah, uh, sure, no problem, yeah. Can we start now? Yeah, of course, uh, sure, no problem. Yeah, we can start now. Tell me about your current project. Okay, my pro my current project I is a uh, it's like a working for the personal loan. Uh, I mean, personal loan uh, company. So the personal loan, uh, the company, uh, they will give the personal loans, and uh, so this board, current board, what we developed, it is a uh, uh, basically the uh, consolidate the collection of uh, each EMI for each month. So there is a lot of customers who take in the personal loan. And uh, so we have a distribu uh, distributor for distributors for each city. So Bangalore has a some person, so Chennai has a some person, right? So like that, so this each city has a um, separate uh, distributors are there. So basically the distributors, so at the board every month, so second of every month, it will collect uh, all the information. That means who are paid the EMIs, who are not paid the EMS. So if the, if the customers who not paid the EMS, it will consolidate, it will fetch the information from the website. There is a dedicated you know, personal loan website is there, company website. So it will scrap the data, entire data. And uh, this, is, this is for the all over India, all the cities. So it will split into the different uh, type of Excel sheets like a Bangalore Excel, China Excel, and Kolkata Excel like that. So those, uh, uh, separated excels ha uh, the robot will send to the the corresponding distributor mail id so the corresponding distributed mail id is a list into the one master mail list that has a <coughs> each city uh, versus the a mail id of that distributor so basically is so once we, the robot sends every month starting so this will go to the, all the distributors the distributors will work and they will collect the info, uh, collect the money and they will update the information in the website uh, in, in the website and so at the end of the month they will send the uh, the corresponding excel updated excel that means so uh, how many are paid ems on that particular month how many are not paid is there any remarks are there so in the remarks column they will mention like a so what are all the remarks uh, so why they are not paid and these things are all so what is what is a, a fine amount for that the whole thing uh, it will they will send the distributor will send again to the robot man the robot uh, a robot what the robot will do the robot will again okay. uh, ro ro robot will again once once again yeah robot will again uh, read all the mails and uh, uh, what it will do so it will just download the, all the uh, excels from the different type of locations consolidated the report and it will summarize give the summary report like a so how many number of uh, customers uh, paid and what is the amount so what is the uh, fine amount we got these things and all uh, jessica so this is uh, about my current project okay uh, yeah. okay okay what are selectors Okay, uh, basically the selectors in UI path is a, uh, it's like a, uh, the UI element, so finding the UI element. Basically the selectors is the address of the UI element. So to identify the element, so in the UI user interface, there is a elements like a text box, radio button, checkbox, there is a different type of elements are there. So robot has to identify that uh, particular elements so to do some particular action. Okay, so the basically the selectors is uh, uh, like a identifying the UI elements. It uh, looks like uh, uh, basically it looks like a, a tags basically tags HTML tags. Each tag has a again properties. Suppose for example the properties like a uh, a name inner text this things and all. Uh, that is about so in the UI Explorer there is a UI Explorer uh, tool is there. So to modify the selectors we are using the UI Explorer tool. Okay, where we can add the uh, properties. Okay, do you use wildcard selectors? Uh, sorry, uh, come again? 
Okay. Do you use wild card selectors? Uh, 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 I'm not getting uh, uh, what what? Wild card selectors. Okay, okay. Wild cards. You you are talking about the wild cards. Okay. So wild cards inside the selectors. Okay. So there is a two wild cards are there. So one is a asterisk and question mark. So wherever the property value. Uh, part of the value not full value part of the value is just changing the specific uh, part of the value for that particular property in, inside the selector is changing so we can use the wild card so, so asterisk uh, will replace the zero or many characters uh, suppose for example I'm searching the uh, weather in Chennai so if I search weather in Chennai the title is a uh, equal to weather in Chennai okay so if I search again the weather in Kolkata uh, basically the uh, Chennai and Kolkata that place is changing but the weather in is a uh, same right so wherever the part the text is uh, changing uh, every time dynamically in that place where you use the wild cards like a asterisk uh, asterisk is like a basically replace the zero or many uh, but uh, there is a question mark another thing so it will replace a single character yeah uh, what do you mean by activity uh, activity basically activity is like a um, a simple action done by the user is called activity so we have a different type of activities uh, available into the uh, uh, activities panel in the orchestrator uh, 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 sorry in the UiPath studio there's an activities panel is there in the activities panel by default so uh, there is a lot of activities uh, by default it will come that means what, whatever user has to do the action like uh, so how we are operating the keyboard and mouse the click activity type into activity copy activity create a folder activity right create director activity there's a each and every action there is a corresp uh, done by the user is called activity action that action the corresponding activity is available for a suppose for example if you want to uh, create a folder there is a create directory activities there uh, if you want to read the csv there is a read csv activities there if you want to write the data into the excel there is a write range activities there like that there is a lot of activities are there in the activities panel those activities are categorized into some different groups like a ui automation activities uh, system activities uh, and uh, program activities uh, like that so uh, if you don't wa uh, if you don't find any activity suppose for example if i want to deal with the database so i don't find any database activities by default in vfat studio if I want to install that activity, so we can install from the cloud by go by going to the um, manage packages and uh, manage packages, uh, and uh, so we can search for that particular activity. Okay, and uh, what it will do? So we can install. Okay. Even the, not only the install. So if you want to upgrade the activities, you can upgrade the activities from that. So there is a uh, go to uipada.com has a lot of activities people who are creating the activities and they will put into the clouds so on some people they will use the activities and uh, download the activities and they can use reuse okay so that is uh, uh, about the activities okay okay how to read data from pdf uh, uh, sorry uh, come again come again how to read data from pdf okay so PDF reading the data from PDF so there is a PDF activity so as we said uh, as I said like a before the a question so if you don't find any activities to read the PDF so we can install the PDF activities from the uh, manage manage packages uh, uh, wizard okay so we can install the uh, PDF uh, activities from the cloud so there is activities uh, like a, to read the PDF there is activities like a, uh, a read PDF text read pdf text and um, so it will read the pdf text so only text so this will read the only text not the scan copy within the pdf okay if there is any text within the image that image is there in the pdf it won't read so only it will read the pdf text text with, which is there in the pdf and we have to mention the range uh, property for the read pdf uh, text activity so in the range you can mention like uh, so which page you want to read so if you want to read all the pages we can mention the all a l l all in the range column that is a string column a string a string field uh, if you want to read the only the uh, fifth 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 page to the tenth page we can mention the range like a five hyphen ten 
uh, or uh, sometimes uh, you have to read the uh, pages like a uh, second page fifth page and uh, random some pages right so you can give the like a uh, two comma five comma seven comma ten like that okay so and uh, there is another activity called read PDF with OCR uh, okay so there is a so, so it will read the text uh, uh, from the images also so not only the only text from the PDF it will read the uh, in the PDF suppose for example in the PDF there is a scan copy or invoices uh, there is a images within the images there is some text so you can read that kind of text also by using the uh, read PDF uh, with OCR uh, that activity and uh, one more thing explain about studio robot and orchestrator okay so studio robot uh, uh, so studio and robot and uh, one more thing what orchestrator okay okay so studio robot under us so basically in ui path there is a three main components one is a studio another one is a robot another one is orchestrator the studio is basically a uh, a studio is a where it is a one ide environment where you are developing the process robots actually so where you are developing the robots you where you are just drag and drop and arrange the workflows so that is a studio where you are developing that is a that is like a one factory you can imagine like a factory has a, products are designing developing right so like that is a ui path studio has a uh, uh, it's like that so creating the uh, like a how the java people has a eclipse and how the dotnet people has a uh, they develop the programs in the visual studio like that so in the ui path there is a ui path studio where the ui path developers can develop the robots from the ui path studio that is about the studio and the second one is a robot okay the robot is a basically the execution engine so this is the main part so whatever you are developing into the ui path studio so that will store as a xaml file xml file but that uh, no one can understand that mean it is a just xml format so who can understand that xaml who can understand and uh, who can do the work the ui path robot basically the ui path robot takes that xaml and do whatever we are dragging and dropping and arranging the logic uh, so it will work for the in the targeted application so based based on that uh, uh, the robot is a basically the execution engine so you can trigger the robot so base at the end of the day the robot has to execute okay robot is execution engine if you trigger for trigger the uh, workflows the process from the ui path studio robot will execute if you trigger the process from the orchestrator the robot will execute if you trigger from the batch file or uh, system tray assistant robot will execute basically the robot is a second one is a robot is execution engine the final one the orchestrator basically the orchestrator is a web based application where you can uh, store the assets and uh, uh, maintain the queues and where you can configure the robot so the basically the if you, you can monitor you can you can uh, establish the robot connections and uh, creating the mission creating the robots you can create an environment like a test environment dev environment and production environment uh, okay so and you can publish once you publish from the ui path studio the packages are available in the ui path orchestrator so where you can basically the schedule the robots and you can monitor the logs from the orchestrator also uh, how how the robot uh, executes these things and all uh, that's it uh, jesse what do you mean by process in orchestrator okay so the, the process in orchestrator basically uh, we have to create a process because the if you want to run the any job or if you want to schedule any uh, anything so you have to create a process in the orchestrator basically the process is like a nothing but a uh, the three combinations one is wait uh, which environment that means where you are executing that is environment and uh, uh, you have to select the environment and uh, what package once you publish the uh, uh, any process from uh, any package from the ui path studio the packages will be available in the packages uh, part in the orchestrator uh, the second part is a package what package and what version of that package the combination of these three three is called process so basically you are mentioning like a uh, 
where it is executing and what it is executing and which version of that package it is executing okay where means environment and what means it is a package and which means it is a which version of that particular package you are executing so that is about the basic okay yeah. where we have to use anchor base and selector okay anchor base in the selector okay uh, basically so the anchor base uh, in the selector uh, we will use a so, 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 basically the selector is identifying the ui element suppose for example some cases some web applications or windows applications i were not able to that means so there is a multiple uh, elements has the same type of selector for example the first name and last name labels are there the text boxes are uh, both are both are the same it does not have anything it does not have a uh, any unique words to differentiate between the first name text box and last name text box but the labels has the information so the unique uh, label texts are there so wherever you find there is a commonality in the uh, two or more uh, elements uh, to differentiate such type of uh, you are not able to find the unique uh, nest in the selector in that case you can use the anchor base basically the anchor base is one activity so you can use the anchor base that is like a alia uh, uh, there is a care of address suppose for example if you just imagine in the one uh, street there is a two jessica are there okay so if you want to send a one uh, uh, invitation or uh, a letter so particular jessica so how can we differentiate a care of address a daughter of right right so care of okay that is a address so like that so if you want to type the first name text box so you can indicate the anchor base is a anchor anchor is a first name label last name label is anchor so in that particular uh, uh, such type of uh, uh, cases uh, you can use a uh, anchor base in the selector uh, yeah jessica thank you so dear it is nice discussion yeah uh, thank you thank you uh, uh, very much uh, jessica really uh, i also feel it is a, a really uh, good discussion very nice uh, thanks thanks jessica we will get back to you yeah thank you thank you very much bye 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 bye